Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And, and that's a promise. Woo! Brought to you by the Calgary International Spoken Word Festival. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to tonight's event, Bright Cats with a Zamazdat Scat. Bright Cats with a Zamazdat Scat. I love Sheree D. Wilson. Who else? Yeah! <laughs> who else who else would title a poetry reading Bright Cats with a Zamazdat Scat? One of the reasons I love Sherry D is that she knows that the syllables come first and the truth comes after. They they follow that closely. Zamazdat, of course, is the Russian word for the for self-published, handwritten, often transcribed books and magazines that often transcribe forbidden uh, texts, dangerous texts, texts dangerous to governments and tyrannies and power. Go ahead. Yeah, because that's what we're here for. Because we're here for that voice. We're here for that voice that is the power of joy and is dangerous to the power of hate. Victor Bukowski, the great Zamazdat artist, said of his work, I create it, I edit it, I censor it, I publish it, I distribute it, and I'm imprisoned for it. Everything is true here, only instead of imprisoned, we're going to be impassioned. Tonight we have five amazing readers, five amazing practitioners from the whole range and spectrum of spoken word, of zamazdat, of self-publishing, of words that will not be denied their place in the world. But before I introduce those five artists to you, I should mention that my name is Richard Harrison. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. But I want to introduce Sherry D. Wilson, uh, who will come up and say a few words about the festival. Sherry D. Wilson. Hi, everyone. And thank you for coming to this beautiful event on this wonderful spring evening. Oh, my God, is it beautiful out there. It's blooming. It's blooming so much you can hardly tell that it's snow. If you want to write a haiku, a sexy haiku about snow, go to our blog www.calgaryspokenwordfestival.com and you will find Will Knowles, correctly pronounced Will Knowles, uh, his blog, and put your poems, your haikus on there. We also have a festival challenge for the best poem to a stranger, love poem to a stranger, and you can pop that on there too, and if you do it anonymously, then we can non anonymously give you the award. It's also great. Um, I'm really, really pleased to be here this evening, and um, to this is going to be an amazing evening. It has been a beautiful festival thus far, with so much poetry and song and joy and ideas that I'm just like kind of crazy tingling all the time. And also, it could be because I've been partying my face off with the poets, and I can hardly keep up. Or maybe they can hardly keep up. You know, I am a middle-aged woman and something happens. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, I would like to thank the Alberta Creative Development Authority, Alberta Lottery Fund, Alberta Foundation for the Arts, Calgary Arts Development Authority, Calgary Foundation, Canada Council for the Arts, Community Spirit, Department of Heritage Canada, and the League of Canadian Poets. Let's give a hand to the funding bodies. Let's give a hand to all the people in this community that helped to make this festival possible. And let's give a hand to the board of directors and the festival team, Taryn Craig, 
Let's hear for Taryn! Jess Hagel, let's hear for Jess! Rose Brown, Mike Roberts! Phil Leisner, oh, oh, oh my God. Peter Mahler is here tonight, and we are launching the Spoken Word Workbook. Uh, inspiration from Poets Who Teach, which is 27 poets giving lessons in history, writing, and performance. And they're directed straight at the reader. And um, it's really uh, a great informative book. And the designer is here tonight. Where is Peter Mahler? Can we... S There's Peter Mahler, the designer of the book. <laughs> Woo! He's also the festival designer. Let's hear for DJ Sublet in the corner doing some uh, tunes for us. Rod Coates doing the live streaming live to the web. Hello. We've been, uh, there's usually about 150 viewers a night and you can, um, you'll be able to see this uh, performance later on the web. You can check it out. Or, you know, you didn't have to come out in the snow tonight. Um, you could have stayed at home and, and seen everything from a video screen, but it's better live. Is poetry better live with the breath? Yes. Well, have a wonderful night. Uh, thank you so much, Sherry D. Thank you so much for everything, for the years of making this all possible, making this all happen. Thank you, Sherry. Sherry D. Wilson, thank you. One more, one more round of applause. And Sherry D is, she knows how to make things run. She gave me a list of things I needed to tell you. My students at Mount Royal will tell you that I need these for, for like how to run stuff. Um, tell everyone to turn off everything that beeps. However, highlighted, vibrating is good. <laughs> Tweeting is also excellent. So if the effect of poetry is to make you desire more poetry of your own, and you want to tweet that haiku into that contest, even as we speak, you can do that. And you can follow the live conversation, checking out CISWF, the Twitter account, which is at CISWF. And if you're playing along, I don't even know what that means. If you're playing along, you can use the hashtag pound CISWF, and you can tag your tweets. I said that. I know that's normal. <laughs> there is a blog, etc., every night live streaming, and we all know about all that. Okay, great. Everyone ready? For poetry. For poetry. The uh, poets for this evening will be Kai Kilo Kellogg? Kellogg. Kello. Kello. I got Kai right, I didn't check. <laughs> Kai Kello, Tanya Evanson, Bill Bissett, Brian Brett, and John Giorno. In that order. There will be a brief intermission after Bill Bissett reads before Brian does. One more round of applause though. Let's hear it for the Auburn itself for hosting this event. For Dave Lyons, ABM Audio, for the sound and the lights. This is amazing. It's really, really professional level, beautiful quality stuff. Artist merchandise is on sale out by the door. All right, poetry now. Kai Kello. Kai actually comes from out west somewhere, but resides in Montreal, where he works as a sound poet, as a text poet, as a teacher of poetry. He is in this book. I'm going to hold this up a lot. This is the book launch for the Spoken Word book. He is in this book. His contribution is wonderful. When you turn to this book and you look at the page and it says goodbye to hip hop, you will have a poem that is a lesson in how to make the page sing. One of the most important things about the relationship of the word on the page and the word in the mouth is how to get that word on the page full of its own breath. And he is a master of the line break, the line length. He's a master at saying goodbye and hello. Kai Kello.
So my last name is spelled K-E-L-L-O-U-G-H. It's an Irish name, and um, like a lot of Irish names, it has that strange cluster of vowels and consonants at the end, O-U-G-H, but that don't make any sound, O. Ooga. You know, we could have a more interesting sound there, but it, uh, it's silent. Um, Okay, thank you for the technical assistance. Uh, as, I was, as, as I was taking off in the airplane yesterday morning to come here, I managed to um, cue up in my headphones the Duke Ellington tune, Blues in Orbit, just as the plane was lifting off the tarmac. The Ellington band from 1958 was swinging, and um, I took that as an excellent omen. Uh, the first poem I'd like to present for you is uh, a sound poem. And I realized a while ago that noise sounds a little bit more interesting in French than it does in English. In English, it's noise. In French, it's bruit. Bruit. Um, so this is a bilingual poem. It's based on the word bruit. And you don't need to know any French to understand it. Thank you.
This next poem is um, a style of poem I call a remix poem because you can remix it live as you're presenting it. So the title is Isery. History is a re, is a rewrite. I own the right to write, to recite. A history is a re, is a rewrite. I own the right to write, to recite. If I re, I fire. If I re, sight I re, wind, wire I win. History is a re is a rewrite. I own the right to write to re sight. If I re I fire, if I re I fire, if I re fire, I sight I re win, wind, wire I. History is a re is a new. If I err or if I err or riff. I air roar if a ruggle a row we rubs read the act or size of I excised rights if a ruggle a row we rubs read the act or size of I excised rights I sight I recite History is a re, is a re, wind, wire, win. If I sight, I re, if, I re, if, I re, if, I re, riff, I recite, right, I sight, to re, to win, to wind, this, 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 this story, this story, this fiction, this f f f f fiction, this f f f f f Unk, this fiction, this funk, this fiction, this funk, Irie, this fiction, this funk, Irie, this fiction, this funk, Irie, this fiction, this function. If I, if I sight, I excise the rights, Irie, 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 when wind. <laughs> This story, this story, this story, this fiction, this function to reify this to re if I if I if why I refictify this this to write if I refictify this this to write if I refictify this this to write I is to re. Can you repeat after me? Ah. Ab. 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 I book the effort good. I book the effort good. I book the effort You made it. You made it much further than the people in Gabriola. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't need to repeat anymore. This is... <laughs> ah. I'm a good effigy, 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 I
abok de f g h i j k i j k i j k j k j k j k abok j k abok j k abok de f g h i j k l abok de f g h i j k l m j k l m j k l m j k l m n j k l m n j k l m n j k l m n l m n l m n m n n n abok de f g h i j k l m n abok de f g h i j k l m n o n o n o o o abok de f g h i j k l m n o o o o abok de f g h i j k l m n o o o o o abok de f g h i j k l m n o o o o abok de f g h i j k l m n o o o o abok de f g h i j k l m n o o o o abok de f g h i j k l m n o o o o abok de f g h i j k l m n o o o o Stuva, 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 stuva. Abaka de effige ejiklemen op a quarrest of wa, stuva. Abaka de effige ejiklemen op a quarrest of wa, stuva, 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 stuva. Abaka de effige ejiklemen op a quarrest of wa, stuva, 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 Thank you. Uh, can I give you one more poem? One final one? Tonight I really don't feel like words. I'm not feeling no words. There are a couple words in this one though. Um, and the title's important. Uh, you don't have to say the word, you just have to make the sound.
a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o Yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand. Sound, make word, sound. Make word sound. Don't word don't sound. Don't say word. Don't say don't say sound. Say word. Say sound. Make sound. Make word sound. Make word sound. Don't word don't sound. Don't say word. Don't say don't say sound. Say word. Say sound. Make sound. Make word sound. Make word sound. Don't word don't sound. Don't say word. Don't say don't say sound. Say word. Say sound. Make sound. Make word sound. Make word. Say don't say sound. Say word. Say sound. Make sound. Make word. Sound. Make word. Sound. Don't word. Don't sound. Don't say word. Don't say. Don't say sound. Say word. Say sound. Make sound. Make word. Sound. Word. Sound. Word. Sound. Then word. Then sound. Then shit. Word. Then shit. Then shit. Sound. Shit. Word. Say sound. Sound. Word. Sound. Word. Sound. Then word. Then sound. Then shit. Word. Then shit. Then shit. Sound. Shit. Word. Say sound. Sound me, word, sound me, word, sound, don't, word, don't, sound, don't, say, word, don't, say, don't, say, sound, say, word, say, sound, make, sound, make, word, sound, make, word, sound, don't, word, don't, sound, don't, say, word, don't, say, don't, say, sound, say, word, say, sound, make, sound, make, word, sound, make, word, sound, no, word, no, sound, no, say, word, don't, say, don't, say, sound, say, word, say, sound, make. Yet the food, sip the word, yet just the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet just the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand, yet the food, sip the word, yet the food, muck the sand. Oo a o a o o, oo a o a o a o, oo a o a o o, oo a o a o a o, oo a o a o o. U o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o u o a o a o a o u o a o a o Thank you very much. You have a wonderful evening ahead of you, and um, so please enjoy the evening. Um, and thank you, Sherry D. Just letting that sink in. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to speak after a poem. Uh, thank you, Kai. Thank you very much. 
Um, the Greeks defined poetry as creation, something created from the human being as if it was created by the divine, something created for its own sake, like a tree, without human purpose. But every so often you hear poems that make the human being divine, realize that our purpose is beyond any use. Our next poet, Tanya Evanson. wrote these words. When we think healing is the hard part, it is effortless effort. I heard her read those on a piece of hers uh, on YouTube. I almost forgot my bones. I would urge you to go and look at that. YouTube is the chapbook of the 21st century. It is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. It is where poems are, always accessible. Underneath the uh, YouTube uh, broadcast that when I played it into my house, my wife, my daughter, and my son all stopped what they were doing and listened and said, is that the person you're introducing tonight? And I said, yes. And they all said, she's beautiful. Tanya Evanson. about a place in Caribbean West Indies, Antigua, clear blue water, ivory sand, and a people, ah, my people, and not my people, Antigua, Antigua. Me last and found me feel profound attachment to Antigua. Antigua, Antigua, Antigua. They got Devil Bridge, Half Moon Bay, Wadadley, men pleased to meet Antigua, Antigua. Yes, me one that tied, in them roots me hide, me heritage and me pride, Antigua, Antigua. But me fatherland emotion be so slim. Me wish me could be pulled in. Inside of me, black skin. Sun inside, still struggling. Antigua, Antigua. They got bush tea, sugar cane, and ducana. This is a New England slave trade patois. An island education inflection. Seulement pour moi. Antigua, Antigua. They got saltfish, chadok, and papa. There is a Hausa tribe from Ghana. 
They got conch palm aloe and plantain in a rum to punch your head in. Said I know Obea, yeah Obea, Bougainville, a fortune teller, new life, north wife, take her back to black life, Antigua. Antigua, they got pepper pot and fungi, in name only jack, chicken, goat, water, lax in a salt water, sorrel, bilimbi, and lime as a verb. Antigua, Antigua, Tiga, Antigua. Far from motherland, tight clothes, no sweat, not like Canada. Co, 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 Fire Antigua, Antigua. Said I'm Mina Gretzky, Mina, sorry, Mina, thank you, Mina, for Antigua, Antigua. Said I'm Mina Gretzky, Mina, sorry, Mina, thank you, Mina, for Antigua, Antigua. I and I sun upon the sea, I and I snow upon the tree, I and I me own pick knee, and I and I me have no me. Antigua, Antigua, and Canada. Oh, Canada, she said, come back, ya, come back, ya. <laughs> I thought, you know, it's cold out, let's start hot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sherry D, for inviting me. It's an honor. Uh, thank you to everyone working at the festival, the staff, the volunteers, everyone here at the Auburn, all of you beautiful people who came here for Word in Air. Uh, last year I, I was at uh, Banff and someone uh, showed me a video and the video was called uh, Just Say No to Family Values. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, that's a John Giorno. Uh, video poem and uh, it hit me <laughs> and when I got up this came out and uh, this is called don't not do it and it's not for it is from John Giorno don't walk run to the truth because the truth is always running away from you out of sight out of you and you want to live in that field division where wisdom takes formless so don't walk, run to the truth, over to where flowers whisper forget-me-nots into your fear, which screams and runs out of you so the truth can turn around and say, come bed, me catch you. Don't walk, run to the truth. Just watch your head for those low branches by the side of the road. The laws of natural selection don't apply anymore. Most get a shot, feed it with everything you got. Even if not, it won't die, but you. Don't walk, run to the truth. These verses are united only for a moment, but you are constant instrument of change. You are a passage of no passage from the now of the gods. You are curiosity leading to curiosity, leading to curiosity, leading to curiosity, leading to curiosity, leading to curiosity. So don't walk, run to the truth. Don't keep secrets even from yourself. Messages from mystery can soothe tiny dramas. Why don't I just give you the words? Please repeat after me. Don't walk, run to the truth. Don't walk, run to the truth. It is in the mind, not at the fore, but leaking in from behind. Words can kill, but not if you get there first. Just do it. Just do it. Don't not do it. Do it. Thank you, John Jarena, for that. <laughs> So there's a lot of shaking in the world going on, a lot of energy moving around. You know, there was, there was Tunisia, Egypt, Qatar, Bahrain, Japan. Now there's Ivory Coast, Libya, lots of movement happening. And our planet shifted 6.5 inches. Did you feel it? Lots of things moving on outside, inside. We getting cooked. We getting cooked. But like coffee, we gotta get roasted and ground and boiled before we fit, before we're ready. Um, this uh, next piece is dedicated to my mother who right now is getting cooked. 
picture it. 2002, Paris, in the springtime. Little hotel, yellow roses on the table. And he left me. Cooked. In the name of Paris in the springtime. In the name of the tears shed by the prophets of God. What do I do now that I am a traveler and a poor one at that, hiding under a crust of cautionary sense? A woman alone in the night, a woman alone in the violence of night in new countries. Even old churches here sport gargoyles from above to watch over you, but I got no one to watch my back but my own tattoo. I'm a pilgrim in new landscapes. Travel is a good ritual like prayer. They are both examples to calm the body, focus the heart. Rituals are reminders our movement from gross to subtle. Inshallah, we find the most beautiful ones. But in the name of Paris, in the springtime, in the name of the tears shed by the prophets of God, what do I do now? What do I do now? <laughs> I will carry myself up from the ocean floor because I got me energy since you closed the door. I will leave the city at full moon, leave the mistrals, the columns of dog droppings on winding streets, gargoyles at every head thrown back. Gargoyles ain't all that. They are lost lovers jutting from memory with jaws open ready to get fat. Keep the memory solid, use as a tool to remove garbage from the straight path. Let the gargoyles keep their watch and all their uniqueness and wrath. This magic is real. It comes from my heart. It fills out my hands. It stirs the spoon in the pot, the pencil on the page. It prevents the rot, burns the lead away. This burning is real. There is no end to it. And this burning eventually becomes sweet. But in the name of Paris in the springtime, in the name of the tears shed by the prophets of God, I go round and round in this pot you threw me in and I thought I could swim. Now you're no longer the chef and I look up to see who's stirring me and it's the hand of <clears throat> working the spoon of me. I see now this is the meal of me that I offer as alms. The more I get cooked, the tastier I become. And so I let myself be seized because none of this can be undone. I submit myself to true love so that the meal of me can belong. Thank you. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, and what's this? Skype. What's up with that? Are we going to be Googling from our frontal lobes eventually? Is that what's where we're going? We'll, we'll all we'll have like nanobots going on when I do this. It's just to prepare my USB port. You know, I looked out the window and I saw the crowd run on line with the forest of communication. Do they have patience, prayer, faith, fire? Or is fervor transmitted through metal and wire? They got money sitting tight in empires, my friends, and information rising higher and higher off the ground. Information rising higher and higher off the ground. A shame pulls my mind, pulls my blinds way down. Everywhere I go, I nest, react, adapt. Am I the machine? A solitary living thing, string-like, stretched to breath upon 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 breath. I love you. I love you. I can love you emotionally. I can love you physically. I can love you spiritually. And I can love you intellectually. But I can't love you digitally. 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 And I won't.
Eyvallah. So, uh, one final piece. Um, uh, so, for this, I would, I would really appreciate um, if you would indulge me and uh, please close your eyes. If you could, please close your eyes. I polish myself to be bright and blinding. Some can see me, from others I take sight. When I speak in tongues, none work better than silence. I am listening, I am listening. The voice can lock, the instruments unlock. With the swing of an arm, the pendulum hips to manipulate breath control internal cords takes faith I am listening I am listening I am listening whatever your appearance I am listening be it air or cuneiform I am listening we make love, I am listening. Everything turns, I am listening. This is our mythology. This is our mythology. This is our mythology. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you for listening. Thank you. the music of Bowen McConney. <laughs> Bill, excellent. Bill Bissett. Bill Bissett. No, no, hang on. I gotta say so I gotta say something here, Bill. I got a little transition thing here. Go Bill Bissett, this is the one biographical fact that I want to give you here about Bill. Bill Bissett is the author of a hundred books of poetry. <laughs> He's also a painter, a spoken word artist, a singer, a musician, a, uh, well, in fact, Earl Burney once said, the words that ring true, even today, he is a one-man civilization. <laughs> For those of you who had, haven't had the pleasure of seeing Bill, um, he's going to be here in two minutes, as soon as I finish this story, and you will get to know what I saw first when I was 18 years old and Bill came to Trent University and I was an undergrad and thought that the most radical thing a po poem could do was not rhyme. <laughs> and Bill came out and blew the entire audience away with his singing and his chanting. And I don't know whether you have your maraca with you today, but I'll remember you forever with the maraca and the tambourine. And, and I thought, this guy is out of this world. And as I grew older, I said to myself, it must take a lot of courage to do what Bill does. And then as I got older, I realized that it must take a lot of creativity. It must take a lot of, 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 of the desire to make things to get what Bill does. And now that I'm at the stage I'm at now, I realize that Bill's poetry does what a mirror does. And it shows me what I am at the stage of my life I am. And I now realize that Bill was never out of this world. Bill is completely in it. Bill Bissett. Excellent, 
on days when everyone seems wrong. And I lean toward doubting we are all so lost in judging. I go to the forest to uh, look for you, to thank you for being and for uh, taking the pain. Oh, Gucci, the forest moon prowls through the a long night. Then we were always uh, looking for the fresh meat and the a tender glance of the a river in our eyes would surely soothe us. Ooh, oh, and now I'm looking for, I'm looking for the fresh meat. Oh, yakirashini, hayaki, ushana, hayakendo shalakadi. I thank you for being and for uh, taking the pain. Hey Derek, could you make the music a little, a little lower? Accent a little lower, the music. A King's Cross, a King's Cross, King's Cross, King's Cross. I'm waiting for you in Paddington. Uh, all my memories pour out. Will I get lost in a sea, a some sea of subjectivity? Subjectivity. Oh, who were you? The goddess says, if everything hurts enough, I can still write a lyric poetry. Is it? Is it a vision in a high key? I don't remember for sure. I remember the goddess. I remember the god, though. It's really busy. In Paddington, uh, in Paddington, uh, how long can I uh, be here? It's inside a red container, you know, you know, you know, how the leaves fall like lost loves. Uh, from the trees, they say it's autumn. Uh, will you, uh, will you remember my, 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 me? Remember me? Some wayward time uh, for this sailor, a certain feeling of uh, hopelessness hung in the air, more moist and less cold, and less gold than we were used to, uh, tired from seasickness regardless of what we trudged on in the, 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 in the thickness. Have we, uh, had we uh, lost our way? Uh, could we, uh, could we even know? It turns out we're still okay. It's only fatigue, stress, and the uh, many glass ceilings. Uh, one of the lengths of many of these uh, voyages can take a, a toll on us. Uh, don't worry, don't worry about it. And uh, no one listens. What would you say? Wish we? What's the difference? Look to the sails and the red sky. We ride again on another crest of another wave. Remember to be a tender with ourselves or with each other, huh? Uh -huh. uh, what else can we do through this, uh, uh, through this uh, emptiness? It's the way it changes uh, high and low mo, and sometimes there's a, a sea low. No one, and the gold is in our eyes. There are problems with this voyage, and in this poem, uh, don't uh, dwell on it. 
heightened or extreme imagination does not always pass the reality test to test to test as to which one uh, uh, which one goes uh, which stays look to the stars uh, ours are uh, ours and the yellow uh, yellow uh, burning sun uh, sometimes the sails are full again and the words and the laughter and the winds are real and with the good stars above 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 we can guide and comfort us married to the sea and bringing us in on the on the coming tides on the coming tides uh, hey uh, hey mark why are you always so uh, a melancholy well jimmy it's so hard it's so hard to get to you and I said, you know, I'm already here. What's the problem? A problem, a problem. I went for a while into some shore. A witness in here. The whales are crying. There is no other. There's only each of us wishing, being, becoming, leaping out through a, a window, a window, 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 I get frenzied just thinking about it. I wish I don't tell you. I'm just thinking about it. I get just a frenzy, a frenzy, a you know, frenzy. Don't you? Uh, oh, don't you? Uh, don't you remember? I remember. I'm a magician. I was the one. I wish I was good. Entree is spinach. So sometimes life yourselves uh, is a big, 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 the tunnel, the praise. Uh, I couldn't uh, a place. Uh, couldn't you? A uh, three, the prairie, the cedars, and a willow sweeping, weeping through the hot yellow, orange rat. Rattles my brain, pan, fandango, ango, a, a creak, a reek, and bean, you would think with, and think with, and a, a word, a word, a word, a doctor, a word, a see, a doctor, a doctor, eames, a dreams, eames, be, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she, oh, a winter morning, I said, uh, I tried to solve all the, it's like a, it's like a Edmonton, uh, a winter morning, so a glazed in our breath, a breathing, a breathing, a breathing, a breathing, a breathing, a breathing, and a, and a soul, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, me, I've been to dementia, now that you ask, a lovely town, nestled in the foothills, between the giant tall legs on either side we couldn't see the top of some thought it improper huh uh, to look up it was great in dementia i'm telling you uh, uh, from what i remember maybe it was a little overproduced huh or a little over remembered what did i do there my job was to reassure everyone that they were all totally cool If someone tells me uh, uh, she loved the, the way the sky was bleeding like that, I say, I like it too, very much. Or if someone late at night cannot stop the screaming, 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 I hold them till the parade of the untamed circus performers passes by and then we uh, I'll have a quiet time and go deeper into sleep until the army invades uh, masquerading as killers uh, and takes away all our toys and images and, and really our angels grieving uh, grieving over their detached fussy toes and hands uh, uh, creeping up the sorrowful escalator uh, uh, or, uh, or uh, to go shopping and slurping on the hook and say not work uh, each way we would go there was a, a scream and sobbing I remember dementia I could not reassure everyone oh dementia I remember it well a gristle intestines dead magpies hanging and falling from the sky the wiring so intricate to permit many bleeding carcasses uh, uh, flung out to dry I I you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, me, I, uh, tongues and hands all uh, uh, designed to remind people what we are really uh, made of. 
the infinite fragility and changing and, and maybe a little bit about consequences. I don't know, it's a bit didactic, don't you think? One day everyone was asleep or otherwise engaged. I slipped out and made my way to the next town. Anticipation, a very aptly named as it turned out. Everyone there was definitely waiting for something. Often the ideal something. Often, often, often and possibly satisfying. No one could agree on the description. We can learn to live without and what to learn with. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I remember dementia. Do you? Billions of tons of plastic bottles in the Pacific gathering themselves into a toxic island could clog the oxygen in the previously thought to be infinite ocean. These used bottles are making an island of toxic waste. I guess you heard about this on the news. Toxic winds, toxic water. Could we build a toxic country on top of the toxic bottles? That wouldn't be hard to do. And there are already many toxic people. I think, I think I know alone enough toxic people to make a country. Don't you? Compatibility. You know, sometimes you put the DV in once and it says the disc is so incompatible. Well, I've discovered you put it in again and it's okay. With it, really, it adjusts and faster than most humans. A narrative models appear in alpine meadows and deeply in Hawaiian enclosures. We go through, we go through around and it goes through us. Somehow the tables are always turning, earning, earning, yearning, earn to earn, asses and castles and dots in spite of how meticulous of persuasions and preparations. What's the surprising riff if, if the energy of a conflict of wills? Hurricanes, the walnuts, uncrusted, the tomatoes, a butterscotch, tepid and tanded, and uh, uh, under the, uh, da, 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 at the end of the tempestuous breakwater, where we first got it on, the splendid glaze of the flesh, 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 in the veiled moonlight, the aye, 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 uh, city by the ocean, a seaside city, uh, a time is a century at our gates, without time we can't really be here, a seaside city looms languorous, the language, uh, the Languanga of the moored boat rock and slap slap and the Kodak what was worse was soon she thank you in finding trout the next way without time Oh, what you need is uh, based as well. It's not only a magazine. A tear shed at the docks and the new beginning of the next next in your eyes and hair and your, in your smiling mouth and lustrous beam, the turn of the, of the lizard for a good time call. For a good time. And the piercing high note on your kitchen ear. A ringing through, a ringing through, inging now through the hollow valley, valley. Shimana, a
Merci beaucoup, beaucoup. Bonsoir. We will now have an intermission. Please feel free to get up, refresh your drinks, and we'll be back in 15, 20 minutes for the second half of the set, featuring Brian Brett and John Giorno. Thank you very much. Shut off the lights. There's books back there. Anywhere we go, anywhere we go, 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 go